What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Maya. And it is Daniel here. <laughs> <laughs> back with another MD takeover video takeover game what up we got some chicken doing? bruh we got some chicken we eating our favorite thing and as you can tell I yo, got Popeye on oh my, my mind mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> tell no. we got some chicken I'm so we excited. We done sit up there and talk to our Popeyes in just about every video. For real. And so we finally got it. We decided to do a Popeyes mukbang. We and thought we'd we do. some Popeyes. Really? Thought we doing something different today. You know, gonna... Even though we eat chicken all the time. I wasn't talking about the chicken. I wasn't, oh. I wasn't planning on changing my chicken. <laughs> Shall we hear? We hear to... Oh, let me put y'all on to something. Hey, this, this, this back in the day when I ain't had money, like talking about it, I still ain't got money. So um, back when I really ain't had money, I, see and, I mean, like I got money, but I don't got money like that. You know, right. like I, ain't, I ain't, like the we Lord has blessed me. We just in between the blessings. Okay, but see, back when I was really in between the blessings, I ain't have a coin like talking about it, and I wanted me some Popeyes. Let me tell you about something. Hey, but you take the back of this receipt and you fill out that survey. That's how you get you a two-piece chicken with a free biscuit with the purchase of a large drink. If I remember correctly, it was like two sixteen or something like that after tax. 16. I used to go so much 16. and I ain't child out. I remember. One thing about Daniel, he gonna put you on a dinner. Okay, cause thank you. Yeah. <laughs> cause thank you, okay. <laughs> and I'm childish, so I got me some tenders. That's not childish, that's in the US. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. Anyway. You got child. a little tender and a mash. Go ahead and say our grace, cause I'm hungry. Dear Lord, thank you for this Popeyes because it's been on our mind. And we know it's going to be a nourishment because you made the chicken. God, and we just want to say thank you. Yeah, he did. He made the oil, the peanut oil, and everything else, and the fryer, and the chicken. And he made the ham. Thank you, anyway, Lord, fried my chicken. Thank you, Lord, for the chicken. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the chicken. Amen. That's a that's a <laughs> hey, that's a nice prayer. I need that prayer on the flag. Man. Thank you, Lord, for the chicken. But like I said, we thought we'd do a little something different. Um, just talk to you guys. Some sauce. You need more of a jam or just no? Baby, I don't need all that sugar. Um. So if you guys didn't know, May is first and foremost. May is our birthday month, so Maya is a freaking Taurus, uh -huh. and I am a uh, and I'm a Gemini. So Maya's birthday is on May first, which my birthday just passed. Thank you to those of you who are um, subscribed to us and told me happy birthday. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Many of you, and my birthday is May twenty second. Hashtag Gemini. Um, but also no, May. I'm not gonna disclose my age. Y'all just got to guess. She old. That's okay, me too, y'all. I'm really a 65-year-old man. We ain't gonna talk about it. Anyway. Um, but also, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And uh, mental health is something that's very important to Maya and I. Maya and me. Um, <laughs> yeah, Maya and me. Um, but also, I feel like, especially in this past year with COVID and everything that's going on, I feel like mental health has become... Why did you bite into that biscuit like that? <laughs> But I feel like mental health has become, um, I don't know, I feel like people are placing more importance on mental health and they're a little bit more aware of it because mm -hmm. for a year they were just stuck at home with their thoughts. <laughs> their thoughts scared them. Forced to deal with certain things. Mm-hmm. That part. That they don't usually deal with. Mm-hmm. On a normal basis. That part. So, we just wanted to come and talk to y'all about, like, some things that we started doing um, on our mental health journey, um, and that's self care. Right. So um, we're gonna give y'all some of the self care tips that we're trying to work on throughout our mental health journey, 
and if you have some to suggest to us because you're also on a mental health journey or you're wanting to start one then please drop those down below in the right. comments because like we're open to whatever because child life is a truth <laughs> it is also y'all i was so ready to dive into this chicken i forgot to start what y'all doing like this video comment down below share it with somebody subscribe if you're not because you're petty you're petty you're petty just like petty. the people at popeyes taking forever to get my chicken <laughs> but i got it now stop being petty stop you don't take nothing else from this video but anyway, so yeah, so let's talk about it. We can, we here, we here, we got our chicken. We gonna talk about it. Y'all know Papa a bit. We could be rocking time. Brown here a little. Hey, that bean was good. Ooh, we got a little, we got a little smoke. Mm-hmm. Gotta let my mystery digest. That's good. Oh. But I was over there at them people's jobs. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know you know, I was thinking about y'all and what we was gonna talk about in the video. God so took me one of my little sticky notes on my desk. I'm um, writing down some, some stuff that I wanted to talk about with y'all. Child, that biscuit is dry about halfway. <laughs> I told you. About halfway, so baby, this biscuit was tanning. Y'all see that? This biscuit a little, got some melanin. And I like to eat my biscuit first. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. gonna suck up all the wet mouth syndrome. <laughs> come we on. We've been to come on here and be serious. <laughs> but it's Daniel and I. Like, <laughs> we be trying. So I don't apologize. The Lord made me the way I am. The Lord okay. had a sense of humor. You know how? Because he made my. How about I say something? He made my behind. And he made me right, right in front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. It's a big tender. Oh no, it's thick. It's thick. But that ain't a tender, that's a tender loin. Okay. Come on here with your sticky nose. Well, know? we have 11 tips. You wanna get to them? Yeah. So I was trying to let that biscuit go down. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so one of the first tips that I wanna mention with self care and one of the things that I'm working on is getting up early. Child, Child. You, need to, you need to talk about that for your own self too. Bruh. Child, if you know like I know, trying to go to them people's job when you know you don't want to and trying to get up. Yeah, hold on, pause. Maya type person, Maya wake up 20 minutes before she gotta leave for work. That's why I'm giving this tip. <laughs> for us all, including myself. How emphasis on including yourself, <laughs> baby? Because I don't know how Maya do it. But anyway, go ahead with your words. I right, chime in. I want to wake up early, y'all, because I feel like when I don't wake up early, it's like I don't have a I'm not having that refreshing start that I need to my day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm rushing to get dressed. I'm rushing to wash my face, brush my teeth. It's like so much that I'm trying to do within those 20 minutes. And then it's like, dang, I'm out the, I gotta be out the door. Right. You know, but I guess the good thing that kind of coincides with that is I have a long drive to work. I have a 35 minute drive to work. Right. So during that time is my time to kind of like I'm gonna get into that next, that next one, cause that's another thing. But like, one of the things that I do want to do, and I c encourage you all to do, is try waking up early um, to start your day, because there's a lot of benefits in that, like that we don't realize. You know, we kind of go to sleep late, and we're like, oh man, I'm so tired, or whatever, or, or or my job is right down the street, or you know, I got this amount of time to you know lay and do whatever. But it's like really and truly like getting up early is so, so beneficial. Getting up early is really better than going to sleep early. No? <laughs> what you feel? I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's like I, I, agree, I agree, but also it's like sleep is, sleep is important. Like you can't, you can't like negate sleep and be like, oh, I'm gonna go to sleep at whatever time and then get up early. Yeah. Um, 
Right. You know what I'm saying? But also, I feel like it's important to define what, what like, going to sleep and waking up early means because that's different for each person. Like, waking up early is subjective to your schedule. Like, for instance, Maya has to be at work at 8 o'clock in the morning. Whereas, recently, like, for the past couple months, I've been working for, from home. So, my day doesn't start. Like, I don't have to log on to Zoom or whatever until 9.30. So me waking up early for my schedule is not the same as waking up early for my schedule. And the same thing with going to sleep early um, for, for for my schedule versus her schedule. All right, guys. So our next tip and one of the things that we're both working on is prioritizing self. Sometimes, like, we have the tendency to, like, because we're so giving we have the tendency to put others before us and not to say that that's bad but it's like you also have to like show grace and kindness to yourself as well um and do things for yourself as well like knowing i saw something today where one of my sorrows tweeted and she was like um know when your cup is empty and know when your cup is full so you'll know when you're able to give and you know when it's like okay i need to take a step back and put myself first type of thing so that's one of the things that i'm working on um continuously and i encourage you all to work on as well so the next tip that we have is uh nursing your body as you see we love to do but nourishing your body goes beyond just eating and nourishing your body is something that's important to me i'm a big believer in the mind body connection um so i i place a lot of emphasis on what i eat when i eat and how i eat um just a general rule for me if i'm hungry i'm gonna eat i'm not gonna starve myself i don't have time for that but also the things that i eat i like to eat things that are nourishing to my body like i if i notice i'm not getting enough protein i make a protein shake i have um superfood powder if i notice that i'm not getting enough fruits and vegetables um i also eat i probably eat like six or seven meals a day but they're small meals i'm basically always eating just about every hour i eat something so um nourishing your body is very important because that 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 affects your mind like that affects how how productive you are and, and your ability to get things done so make sure that as you go through your day that you continue to nourish your body it's very important our next one would be finding like a non-stressful hobby that you can get into because that's one of the like that's one of the things that i'm working on what i found is Finding something that you can get into that stimulates your mind that's non-stressful takes you away from that stress that you may experience on a day-to-day. -day. It's something that you enjoy doing, you can't wait to do, and you have fun doing it. And for me, that's like, you know, doing my music or like, um, like we, you know, we're doing YouTube and things like that. Although YouTube can get a little stressful sometimes <laughs> when you're trying to do um, a video. But that's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother conversation for another day. But it is a fun hobby for the right. most part. It is non-stressful. So it's like you kind of got to tap into those things that um, you enjoy, like writing and, and things like that. Um, that can kind of take you away for a second and just kind of clear your mind. Right. And that can kind of piggyback into our next um, our next um, tip or idea or whatever for self-care. Right, which is exercise. So exercise is very important. Um, and exercise, like it doesn't have to be freaking lifting weights or running a marathon. Exercise basically just means you need to keep your body moving. Like one way to keep your body from, you know, from having back aches and all that stuff is to keep your body moving. You know, make sure you stretch your body. You're walking that, like we have, Maya and I, we have Apple Watches. Our Apple Watches has the, it has the fitness app on there. So it, it tracks how many hours that you, you go without standing, how, how much exercise you do, um, and, and things like that. You know, people have Fitbits and all that. So you wanna make sure that you keep your body moving. And that's also a good way to relieve stress. So if you're feeling stressed or something like that, go for a walk try to get out in nature or i mean you can lift weights there's nothing wrong with that but make sure that you keep your body moving going into our next tip like as i was talking about earlier you know getting up early and me having such a long drive to work um 
the next tip I would suggest is like prayer and meditation. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you believe in God or a higher being or whatever, um, or it, even if it's not like a higher being and you just want to meditate, you know, positive affirmations in the morning and things like just that. A just time really, of stillness. right? Just a time of stillness and like being with self. Um, and that's for me. Um, I, I haven't really tapped into like the proper way to meditate, but like I am a firm believer in prayer. I do pray on my way to work and just, you know, I'm kind of, I allow that time. <laughs> I allow that time, um, you know, with myself and God, you know, before I get to work, cause child going to the people job and dealing with the folks. I Listen, I'm gonna need something. Okay. And you know, whatever that is to you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's just like tap into that because meditation can really take you a long way, clear out your mind and just, you know, your spirit and just make you feel, you know, at peace, you know? Yeah, and I love me some peace. Okay. And going along with, with that, um, our next tip is to date yourself. One thing, you know, Mike can tell y'all, but I date myself before I date anybody else. <laughs> and... No, like that's Keep that's for real, Keep like for real. that is that's so important to me because so many people out here they don't know themselves mm -hmm. for one. Um, and how can you date somebody else before you know and, and get to know somebody else before you know yourself? Um, and there's and I like I love you know putting on nice clothes, going to a restaurant by myself, having a glass of wine and or two, <laughs> you know going out to dinner or just going out for a drive or just doing something, just taking time from everybody else and just pouring into myself, checking in with myself. I mean, that goes along with meditating. That, those two can go hand in hand, just making sure that you're checking in with yourself and making sure that, you, that you're okay and that you have all the things that you need. But like Daniel said, when he was talking about dating yourself, now y'all know me, I love to look good. And it really boosts your self-esteem when you you dress good, you dress up, you dress well, you feel well, you look well. Yeah. That that goes a long way, y'all. Like yeah. our my, our parents always taught us, like we, you don't go out the house looking any kind of way. Even though sometimes y'all, I do go out the house looking so any kind of way. But for the cool. most part, like you know what I'm saying, like just even going to work and. Even though I work back office, I don't work on the front end. I still try to put my best foot forward because y'all, child, if y'all see some people that come into my job, <laughs> that work at my job, and, and this is corporate, you be like, wow. But anyway, um, that's the team. <laughs> but no, like really, like dressing up, like if you dress the part and look the part. And what I used to always tell people, um, when I worked in retail, because. When I worked in retail, I used to wear suits. I used to dress up. I used to look my best because you never know what can come from that. You never know who you're going to meet. You never know who's going to cross your path. So it's like, it, it's just really important to dress your best, dress up, look good, feel good. That type of energy, big energy. I love that. And then our next tip that we have for you guys, and we're getting close to the end. I know this video is longer than we intended for it to be. But our next video is watch what you consume. Uh, Maya and I are both people that are, we're heavily spiritual. So, um, going along with, with spirituality, there's spirits attached to everything. Everything has a spirit, and and you have to watch what you are what you are allowing to come into your spirit. Whether that be the music that you listen to, the people that you speak with or interact with, the people that you date, the stuff that you watch on on TV, all of that stuff. It, it pours into you and it can pour into you both positively and negatively mm -hmm. so you really have to to as much you know we love a good reality tv show and and you know all of this stuff we really have to be careful about the the things that we are consuming especially with media because media has has it's become so to toxic over the years you know Thanks. um so you have to just pay attention because you don't want all of that toxicity to social to, media Exactly. You don't want all that toxicity in your life. So just just make sure you're paying attention to what it is that you're consuming. So our, our next point is going to be learn something new. So learning is something that's very important to both Maya and me. Um, I mean, granted, I'm still in school, so I'm still learning every day. But it's important that 
what? Close to me. No, no, no. I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I meant I'm still learning in an academic setting. We should all strive to be learners on a daily basis because there's always something that we can learn. We should never be be too comfortable or too set in our ways that we can't learn something new. But also striving to learn something. You know, they have the old the old cliche: you learn something new every day. But like you really should, you know, seek to learn something new every day because it keeps your brain sharp. It keeps you on your toes. It keeps you evolving into a better person. And I mean, who doesn't want to continuously evolve in a, in a better person? If you find somebody that is stuck in their ways, they don't want to evolve. That's the red flag and you should to the left, to the left. That's all I'm going to say on that. Um, right. It's, it's just really important to have goals to like. Go, I feel like having goals, and this wasn't even on our list, this is a bonus, but having goals really will help with self-care too because you can kind of, kind of, you can kind of like gauge, you know, um, where you're at now versus like where you want to be type of thing. And that goes into my next point of if you feel like all of these things are like kind of hard to start on yourself i mean girl i need to get my words together Who trying to give y'all a sitting word here trying to follow and I'm, lost. So I'm sitting here trying to follow and i lost myself um. anyway if these things that these tips that we mentioned because mind you we're doing them ourselves like right. we're working on these ourselves right. but for us like some of these things were actually hard to start believe it or not because daniel and i like we're we're busy like we we like to keep going and going and going to like we don't realize that like dang like i am stressed the hell out like i don't know how to do this or i don't know where i should start with this and so if you you realize that you're at that point it's nothing wrong with going to therapy it's nothing wrong with getting a therapist and that's something that i'm always going to advocate for because I'm in therapy myself, so I'm not going to tell you to do something that I know right. won't, won't work. Now, I'm not saying that the first therapist you go to is going to be like your therapist, because it took me uh, for almost five years to find a great therapist for the style of therapy that I need to mm -hmm. heal. And that's ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> but, that disrespectful. But, like, like, honestly, though, y'all, like, if you, if you really find that it's hard to like get started with certain things or you just can't get out of bed. You can't, you don't know where to start with healing, where where to start with self care or whatever, just your mental health journey in general. Therapy is a great way to start. And I say that because you have people who specialize in these things, who right. help you activate a plan. Like my exactly. therapist helped me, you know, basically put together a plan. Like what, what do you want to accomplish? Okay, you want to accomplish this, this, and that? All right, this is how we're going to tackle it. And the work is on you, but you have that therapist to be your accountability partner. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I, I advocate for it because it's a lot of our people who just don't understand therapy, in a sense. They right. feel like you have to be, like, so bad off to go to therapy. And it's like, you could really actually be feeling fine. And you just really need somebody outside of who you know to talk to and yeah. to get you through certain things that you're dealing right. with that you feel like you can't talk to other people about. So that's our tips, guys. I think it was like 11 or 12. I don't know. We have to go back and count. But <clears throat> we're giving y'all these tips because one, it's May and it's Mental Health Awareness Month. And two, we're on this journey with y'all so we don't want y'all to feel like oh you know i'm just dealing with this and i'm just dealing with that and i don't know how to get through it type of thing so we just wanted to encourage y'all those of you who are dealing with depression you're stressed out you you don't know how you're gonna get through certain things like <clears throat> just keep going continue and i'm i'm if i'm not speaking to none of y'all that's watching this video i'm speaking to myself because you know, sometimes I get so down. I know you get so down sometimes, and it's just right. like, bruh. Right. <laughs> right. You know. I mean, shoot, we could talk about it for, for hours and hours. But what we'll right. do is maybe what we can do in the description of this video is we could link, like, a couple mental health resources, like some websites or something that mm -hmm. um, if you guys are having trouble with your mental health, that you can go <laughs> and 
and use these resources to find a therapist to find somebody who can help you because Maya and I are by no means mental health um mental health experts in, in any regard we're just sharing right. with you guys what we're doing and what's working for us and i mean that's all we have to offer so we can point you guys in in the right direction and we hope that you all can get the help that you need and on that regard we're going to end this video make sure you uh like this video comment down below subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed share this with somebody so that you know, we say can also uh, be of use to them. And we will see you guys on our next video. Bye.